lessons today with me, Nada. Today we are going to explain the Arabic pronouns. Starting with the first pronoun, which is I. I in Arabic, Ana. Ana. Then we have you. Now you is divided into five parts. The first part is you for a male, you for a female, you for two people, you for more than two people but which are male, you for more than two people but which are female. And we will discuss them and explain them now. Starting with you for a male, you for a male, if you are talking to one person and he is a man or a male, you say anta, anta. Now, if you are talking to a woman or someone who is female, you say anti, anti. Now, if you are talking to more, uh, to two people, more than one person, but, but are two people, okay? You say antoma, and it doesn't matter if they are male or female. It just matters that they are two. You say antuma, and Tuma. Antuma. This is a sukun. Okay, let me make it more clear. Antuma. Antuma. If they are two people, male or female. For both, it's the same here. Okay? Now, if you are talking to more than one person, but they are men, they are men, okay, uh, they are all male, you say antum. Antum. And if you are talking to more than one person and they are female, you say Antonna. So this is Antom. Antom. And this is Antonna. Antonna. If they are more than two people but are female. Okay? Now, what if you're talking to more than two people but are male and female mixed at the same time? You say Antom. So, antum is if they are all men or men and women. So, if they are men and women, you also say antum. Okay? Going for he. He is hua. So, he is hua. Hua. Okay? She is hia. So, this is, let me make it here more clear. Let me, okay, I'm sorry here. Hoa, hea. Okay? So, he is hoa, she is hea. It, now it. If it's an object, uh, in Arabic, objects are divided into male, like male things and female things, okay? Uh, for example, uh, if I'm talking about a bed, I say, for example, this bed is comfortable. So the bed, we, we like consider it as something which is male, okay? But if I'm talking, for example, about a banana, okay? Uh, a banana, for example, uh, is a female for us, okay? So like things are divided into males and females in Arabic, okay? So either we say for anything, this is huwa or hiya, okay? So you like you'll know it by time and when i give you examples you're going to understand it now we nahnu we is nahnu nahnu they now also they is divided into three parts now you is five parts they is three parts uh, if they are two people you say homa homa okay if they are um, lots of people, okay? Now, huma is for, is for male and female. Huma for male and female, okay? Huma, this is, there's a dhamma here. Huma, okay? Now, they, uh, if I'm talking about people, uh, more than two people, and they are male, we say hum. Hum. If they are um, more than two people and female, I say hunna. So,
So if there are two people, I say huma, it doesn't matter the gender. Now, if there are more than two people, a male, I say hum. If I'm talking about more than two people, but female, I say hunna. Hunna. What if I'm talking about uh, more than two people, but are male and female, I also say hum. Like here, if they are, if I'm talking to more than two people, but are male and female, I say antum. If I'm talking about more than two people, male and female, I say hum. Okay, and if they are all female, I say hunna. So, I hope that our lesson was easy and that you understood uh, all the Arabic uh, pronouns till now. And we are going to have some practice. Now, the practice will be in another video so that you don't get confused now. Um, now, don't forget to comment below if you have any questions. And see you soon. Arakum Qariba.